Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. I am ALW and today we're going to take a trip back to 1998 in the Beast Wars saga with basic Beast Wars Fusor, Predacon, Quick Strike. And there he is. Released in 1998 as a Fusor in the basic set. Quick Strike is actually one of my favorite Fusors because I really like the way he looked. Only two made it into the show, actually. Silverbolt and Quick Strike. And this is actually, of the two, I was actually very impressed with his engineering and his overall look. He's a cross between a scorpion and a king cobra. His molding is primarily done in a translucent orange color. Some nice teal highlights. He's got red eyes. He's got little fangs right there in the mouth. He's got some brown parts on him. The ta brown tail with a lot of joints all the way up. All bendable. And, of course, the cobra's head. And the basics were just very basic. They weren't really over the top for transformations. You can see there's the old thing. See him just hanging out down on the bottom. Tarnations! Little bio on him. He's actually the tough little guy. He's a small transformer with a big chip on his shoulder. Very violent attitude. Kind of like the Wild Western Desperado type. Quick to a fist fight, but also very cowardly. If outnumbered, and knows he can't win. Articulation in this mode, his tail is fully poseable. The head, the mouth of the scorp of the um, cobra opens. And if you stick this in water and press on the bellows, he'll actually absorb the water. There is a little water gun in there. He'll suck it up and spit it right back out. His arms move. And his claw opens and closes. And his head can be moved up and down. The legs really don't do anything. You can move them and stand them up. But he will eventually fall back down. A lot of them just because of the way they were designed. Full disclosure, I actually painted the tips of these silver years ago. Just because in the show they were silver and I wanted more of a show accurate color. You know, I like the Cobra design here. I like how they did the scaling all across the top here. And the scaling continues all the way down the tail. As I drop him. Recently I had a lot of Butterfingers with a lot of my figures recently. It's got like a scaling design in here as it goes into the Scorpion's body and then it tapers off. The details on the legs are amazing. They were very nice for the timing. And there is some ridge detail in the plastic here and in here, along with in the feet. You can see there's like some ridging detail in there as well. He's got teeth for the pincing on his claws. Overall, in this mode, I thought it was very cool. I think it was very good concept, the Fusors. Some of them I wasn't too impressed with. But some of them I actually did get a kick out and I thought they were pretty awesome looking. And he does have a small port in here. Some guns will fit in there. You can actually hold a gun in a scorpion mode. But a lot of them are not going to fit because the pegs are too big. That is not a standard 5mm port. That's a 2mm. And going to transformation is fairly easy with him. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the back. We're going to take these, bring them together, untab his arm. We're going to take his head, push it up to the side. And we're going to take this whole assembly and rotate it this way. Straighten his arms out. We're going to take the scorpion head, flip it to the back. Bring his legs down. 
turn the knee, open the claw, which makes this foot, bring it down, turn the knee, open the claw to make the foot. This is a double hinge part. You got one hinge in here. It's kind of hard to see it. Hinge here and a hinge here. We're just going to fold that in on itself. First one you got to do though is you got to fold the back one first to get his head clear. And then just fold this over. And that is quick strike in robot mode. And the only issue I ever had with him is his cobra arm, and I just twist it up like this. Again, small guy complex, very rough and tough. Talks with a southern accent. I mean, in the show, he was a protoform for the Autobots that fell and was tricked by Megatron into thinking he was a Predacon, and that's how he stayed for the rest of the show. Very aggressive, very easily manipulated, but at times also had some smartness behind his actions. So let's take a look at him. Again, translucent orange for the face. He's got some nice detailing. He's got teal around the eyes, and he's got some teal designing on the head. The chest has some, uh, some work inside the plastic. You can see that actually works nice for him. The teal comes down and forms his ribs and stuff. And I like just overall how he looks. And I, like, I really did like the over-the-top look of the hand on this one kind of makes me wonder how they would update this if they actually made an updated figure because actually show accurate he's pretty spot on articulation wise his head does move on move it can go side to side and it's kind of hard to see this, but you can do it all the way around. Front, back, side to side. It's on a ball joint. This arm here can go all the way around and all the way around at the elbow. And his hands do open all the way and close. Up. Now the Cobra arm, of course, all the way around. Every one of the joints will move And this feature with the water will still work. Push on the bellows, the gun will come out. Fill it with water, spray it back out. I've never done that to this one, but I have had one in the past that I've done it with. Pretty cool. Leg goes that far forward. Not really much back unless you tilt it out because of the, the head of the scorpion sitting there. So if you bring it out of the way and just tilt it slightly, very good. You can go all the way back like that. A little bit of rotation side to side. Nothing at the waist. Knee does a very good deep bend. It can go all the way around. And his foot can open and close due to transformation, but does allow him to pose. And that is basic Fusor. 1998 Beast Wars. Quick strike. Thank you very much for stopping by. Appreciate it. If you have any figures you'd like me to cover, please drop a like um, message about it. I'll see what we can do. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want. And come on back for the next video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. This is ALW.